Today, we would like to invite you into the amazing world of live-action role-playing games, or LARPs for short. LARPs bring the excitement of computer games, movies and books into the real world where you become one of the characters. This also means you'll need to have a proper costume and plenty of accessories, and 3D printing will help you to produce tons of amazing props. The stories and settings in these games can be incredibly complex and require players to act their roles and reach a designated set of goals. Anything from solving a crime, killing a target, or hunting for strange anomalies, which is exactly what we can observe right now. As you can see, our adventurer used a 3D printer to make his journey through the exclusion zone with high levels of radioactivity somewhat safer. He has equipped himself with useful props such as a Geiger counter, anomaly detector and a hazmat suit with 3D printed lock collar. This should help him move through the danger zone with minimal risk. Well, hopefully. Luckily, he didn't forget his medkit with miraculous healing pills. And looks like he also found something that might be valuable. Oh no no no, don't touch it, it might be dangerous. Ah, that's right, every unknown object should be handled in protective gloves and stored in a container. Well, it looks like our guy was lucky this time. So let's hope he won't be robbed by bandits or torn apart by wild dogs on his way back. So now let's return to the safety of our studio, where we can take a look at various 3D printed props for your costume. First, here's a modular bracelet we have designed. You can equip it with a Geiger counter, a cell phone, or any other important tool you might need. Another accessory we've created is this stylish post-apocalyptic med kit. It's based on the original Soviet AI-2 Aptechka model, commonly seen in computer games. It's very easy to assemble and it can be used as a handy first aid kit on your missions. But you can go beyond tools and gadgets and make something more fancy. This is the Spartan helmet from Metro Exodus. It required a bit of post-processing, but nothing you couldn't do at home. Check our other videos to learn more about post-processing of 3D prints. And if you want to print a helmet, we suggest measuring your head first and printing only a small part of the model to see whether it fits. And while we have demonstrated mostly post-apocalyptic equipment, you can make pretty much anything from any era, even things for medieval or fantasy LARPs. If you need solid, sturdy models, you will probably go with PLA or PETG filaments. But there's also use for flexible materials. These training knives were printed with flexible filament. Glue the parts together, paint them, and you'll get props which are both great looking and also safe to use. Or perhaps you need some skulls and bones, either to create a gruesome scene or to complete your outfit? Well, no problem, the original Prusa one can produce small and amazingly detailed replicas. You can even put some electronics in your model to kick it up a notch. Or how about printing some functional props, such as this really loud siren? There's an incredible number of things you can download from prusaprinters.org or other online repositories, or you can even design your own props. With the power of 3D printing and quick prototyping, you can produce incredible tailor-made equipment in no time. So don't forget to share the results online, and as always, happy printing!